Hi, I'm Scott Foxwell, Head Engine Builder with Straub Technologies, and we're here today to talk about an oil modification for the Dart Big M, Little M, and SHP blocks. We're constantly hearing talk about noisy valve train issues with hydraulic roller lifters. Well, a hydraulic roller lifter has to have oil pressure to function properly. I've come up with an easy modification that allows oil to reach these lifters in seconds and help with that problem. Let's take a look at how we do that. So the improvement we're talking about making involves plugging one of the oil lifter galleys at the end of the run. And we do that with a small aluminum plug that we make on the lathe. And we make an installation tool out of a 7 16 bolt by turning the end of it down to about a quarter inch. There's a small hole in the back of the plug. You put these together and this becomes the system by which we go ahead and plug that hole. The plug that we have is designed to fit in the factory oil passage that is drilled to 7 16 of an inch. 7 16 is .4375 inches. We make the plug with about a thou and a half to two thousandths press, so .439 is about the OD of the plug size. The stud on the bolt for the installation tool, you can pretty much make that whatever size you want. The overall diameter of the plug is what's critical because we want a little bit of press to keep it in place. There's not a lot of pressure there, so the press doesn't have to be a lot, but a thou to a thou and a half should be adequate. We also put a few drops of Loctite on it to uh, make sure it stays in place. The plug can only be about .375 long. There's not a lot of room to work with between the distributor hole and the last lifter bore. Uh, anything much longer than that and you'll have one end of the plug sticking either in the lifter bore or the distributor hole and that's not good. Okay, so this really is about as simple as it gets. Once we've made our plug and our installation tool, you can see I put a little bit of Loctite on the plug. The installation tool just goes right through the back of the uh, lifter galley hole that goes through the back of the block. We push it through to where we can see it in the distributor hole. We take our needle nose pliers, put a Loctite on there. We feed this down through the distributor hole, put it on the end of the installation tool. Push it to the back of the galley and just gently tap it in until it's just flush with the inside of the distributor hole. Remove the tool. There's going to be a little bit of aluminum pushed off of that from going in the hole. You can reach in and clean that out. And uh, drop a distributor in if you need to to make sure that that's all the way in. The hole that we're trying to fill, fill is between the, the distributor hole and the last lifter. And you can see inside the lifter, the end of the plug there, where it doesn't quite come all the way into the lifter hole. And that's all there is to it. So that's it with our modification to the dart block. Anyone with access to a lathe and some aluminum stock can make this part from a simple drawing that we provided. If you have any more questions regarding this, you can contact me at 423-391-7774 at Straub Technologies.